hello what's up guys you are welcome back to across nigeria how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are doing wonderful as for me i'm doing just fine and it's a beautiful tuesday afternoon the 14th day of january 2020 my time here is 12 19 in the afternoon so wherever you are guys good morning good afternoon and good evening depends where you are listening from i have a news update to share with you guys as the civil rights advocacy group human rights writers association of nigeria huriwa has expressed shock that the chief justice of nigeria muhammad tanko and the hierarchy of the supreme court have not reacted to the contemptuous uh, prophecy by Enugu State-based priest. I'm talking about Father A.J.K. Mbaka. So the group claimed his utterances um, undermined the credibility of the Apex Court in the subsisting uh, litigation between the APC governorship candidate in Imo State. I'm talking about Senator um, uh, Hope Uzodima and Governor Emeka Hedioha of the People Democratic Party, PDP. Uriwa has also accused the Catholic cleric of behaving like a political agent, working for the APC and some forces bent on creating confusion and cause in Imo State. Uriwa, in a statement by its national coordinator, Emmanuel Uwubiko, and Media Affairs Director Ms. Zinab Yusuf said Fadambaka of the Adoration Ministries in Enugu State had pointedly asked Governor Emeka Hedioha to get ready to lose his seat this year, which in the thinking of millions of people referred directly to a matter that is subsisting before Supreme Court. Uriwa said Fadambaka's statement had led a section of Imo people to believe that sources within the Supreme Court may have leaked out contents of the court judgment between Uzodima and Emeka Hedioha. This is not the first time that the nation's highest court has faced criticism from the public over alleged leakage. This time around, May we join millions of worried Nigerians to tax the Chief Justice of Nigeria to openly tell what is going on and why the conspiratory um, silence from the Supreme Court since the Enugu State-based priest, who is well known as the associate and sympathizer of the APC at the national level made a contemptuous prediction purportedly and pointedly claiming that he has the uh, knowledge of the outcome of the pending political uh, judgment between the APC and the PDP in Imo State. With specific reference to the legal challenge mounted by Hope Uzodima, challenging the victory of Governor Emeka Hedioha. All right, but meanwhile, uh, when Mbaka made this uh, a prophetic declaration there was a lot of uh, uh, speculation okay uh, that during the supreme court judgment of uh, inimo state okay between uzodima and emeka hedioha uh, that emeka hedioha is gonna uh, lose his uh, seat to a uh, senator hope uzodima but yet uh, let's see what's gonna happen because the matter is in supreme court and i believe uh, judgment will be declared any moment from now uh, but um, after a lot of uh, criticism by uh, concerned nigeria uh, fadambaka okay um the popular priest based in enugu okay said he never prophesied that Governor Emeka Hedioha will lose at the Supreme Court. That was what he said. Okay, so because there was a lot of outrage from, uh, especially from the people of Imo State, but Mbaka said he never prophesied um, to, you know, he never prophesied that Emeka Hedioha will lose at the Supreme Court. Okay, so um, he has now turned to say that he was misquoted. Okay, so he was actually speaking with Nigerian Telegraph on the phone. 
okay he said that his new year prophecy was based on hope for Imo state you know uh, senator hopus or dima may be contradiction somewhere so according to father mbaka he said that uh, his prophecy was that was based on hope for the people of Imo State that he never said that Governor Emeka Hedioha will lose at the Supreme Court. According to him, he said that I only prophesied hope for Imo State. Okay, so that was what Fadambaka said. God said Imo is on the rise and that there's hope for Imo State. Why not watch the video of the New Year prophecy and stop believing what the media is saying? So uh, that was what Father Mbaka said, that he never um, prophesied for Emeka Hedio to lose his seat. He never prophesied for Hobu Zodima uh, to become the next governor of Imo State. That he only said, according to what he heard from God, that there is hope for the people of Imo State. So, um, well, if only uh, that is the prophecy, then um, I believe it's a good one. But nevertheless, let's... Um, see what is going to happen at the supreme court and i am going to give you the update of the case between um a hope Zodima, okay and um a mecca hedioha well we had um about seven or five governors that were actually waiting the supreme court um was yet to decide their fate okay so um a mecca hedioha the governor of Imo state Sokote State is also there, okay? So, um, the update I have for you now is that the Supreme Court delivers judgment on Kanu governorship uh, dispute, okay? Kanu said what was also there, okay? So, today, Tuesday, Supreme Court has fixed January 24th judgment on Kanu State governorship dispute following the March 9, 2019 election in the state. So a seven-man panel of the Apex Court led by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Tanko Mohammed, fixed the date for judgment after hearing the appeal by People's Democratic Party's candidate in the um, keenly contested poll, Abba Yusuf, challenging the victory of the APC, okay, Ganduje, at the poll. Okay, so uh, uh, that is one of the issues we have uh, at the Supreme Court so far. So I'm going to give you the update about uh, concerning the uh, the Supreme Court judgment of Emeka Hedioha and Hope Uzodema. So uh, for you to keep a date and never miss out, make sure you subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you get instant notification whenever we have stories like this to share with you guys. All right, guys, so that is the update I have for you as the Huriwa group asked the Chief Justice of Nigeria to charge Father Mbaka for content. And also, Father Mbaka openly have denied saying that Governor Emeka Hedioha is going to lose his seat as the Imo State Governor, okay, that the prophecy was only heard from God that there is hope, hope and hope for the people of Imo State that he never prophesied for Governor Emeka Hedio had to lose his seat for Hope Uzodema. All right, so that is the update I have for you guys. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. But the question now is we all knew that the Supreme Court judgment was gonna be 20 uh, in 2020, but Father Mbaka said 2020 there is gonna be hope. That what he sees was hope, 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 and hope. Why 2020? I'm talking about the reserve, a sitting governor uh, so far. Maybe he would have prophesied um, concerning 2023 uh, election, governor, governorship election in Imo State. And so far, another popular cleric has also challenged the prophecy of Father Mbaka, saying that the Mecca Hedioha is going to rule Imo State for eight years so now we are gonna see who uh whose prophecy is so superior than the other i'm talking about uh, father mbaka's prophecy and one other cleric i think he's also a popular cleric man of god okay his prophecy uh, also manifests okay as far as i'm concerned so um we're gonna see whose prophecy is gonna fail and whose prophecy um is gonna manifest this is the time I believe a lot of people will now see 
who always hears from God. All right, guys, um, let me leave you to uh, contribute on the comment section below. I will see you guys in another video.